they might, but it's going to be very tough to do that. Um, I, I'm just not sure how you play that amount of games, even with seven inning double headers and trying to figure out all the pitching and double headers that get into it in what would about it. The next time the Cardinals could logically, if we're complete optimists here, it, the, the next time they could really logically get on the field would be Friday. And by then, the rest of baseball will have played a third of their season mm -hmm. and the Cardinals will have played five games. It just doesn't seem to mathematically work out. And hey, if they have to wait a little extra time. And you think if this was an album, what would you have as an album cover that has to, and I'm a solo artist, what would you put on there? The field and, and be able to do what they love to do for at least a little bit of time. Well, I, I wonder if they're thinking and if the the thinking of the organization in Major League Baseball is to take the weekend off and then the following series off, which would be on the road and then open up back at home. Now, I don't know that for a fact at all. I'm just thinking out loud in my, my personal thoughts here. I don't know if that's the way that they go. Or if the idea is, you know, don't think about the doubleheader on um, Thursday in Detroit. Think about then the idea would be to get Friday in Chicago and then there would be six games in Chicago, White Sox and the Cubs. Or if you're Major League Baseball, instead of putting the um, onus on the Cardinals to travel, is it are you asking then maybe those teams to come to St. Louis? and not have them travel yeah. the Cardinals and maybe ask those teams to come to St. Louis. I, I don't know. I mean, that's maybe something that you think about too. This just struck me. And we always talk to John Mosellock and Bill DeWitt about how they think globally. They're thinking from 10,000 feet. And John Mosellock, if they were playing now, he's not necessarily thinking about 2020. He's thinking about 23 and 24. How weird must it be for a guy who's always thinking years ahead to literally be thinking hour by hour, which is what it's become for him. 